Hi everyone, this is a quick alert. We're here at Science Alert, and this was May 5th, 2016. Scientist says the San Andreas Fault is locked, loaded, and ready to roll. So this is just an alert for those of you, especially you in Southern California or in the San Andreas Fault Zone. It's a serious heads up. This was my hometown, home country, third generation, native born. I got out of there. And so most of the people who are living there now don't understand the seriousness of what could be coming. So I'm hoping this will give you a little heads up because the best thing anybody can do truly is just be prepared. Here we have California San Andreas Fault has been quiet for far too long and is overdue for a major earthquake, a leading geoscientist has announced. In a conference this week, the state was warned to prepare for a potential earthquake as strong as magnitude 8. We're going to come down here. The last time Southern California experienced a major shakeup was in 1857 when a 7.9 quake ruptured between Monterey and the San Gabriel Mountains. Further south, areas of the fault line have been quiet even longer, with San Bernardino County not moving substantially since 1812 and the region near the Salton Sea remaining still since the late 1600s. All of this means that there's a lot of tension underneath California right now. Last year, Jordan's, Jordan's team found there's a 7% chance the state will experience a magnitude 8 in the next three decades. Wow. So again, all you can do is be prepared. And now here we are, same story, different source, May 5th, 2016 at the Los Angeles Times. We're going to come down here to, here's the problem. Scientists have observed that based on the movement of tectonic plates, with the Pacific plate moving northwest of the North American plate, earthquakes should be relieving about 16 feet of accumulated plate movement every 100 years. Yet, the San Andreas has not relieved stress that has been building up for more than a century. Jordan said it's important that California focus on becoming resilient to a potential huge earthquake. Again, be prepared. And here we have the shakeout simulation. And you can see this is the quake striking at the southern end of the San Andreas Fault. And you'll see the waves come out as they go out through Barstow, Victorville. San Bernardino coming through down to Anaheim. And then I want you to notice there in the bay, the South Bay by Los Angeles, and I didn't know this about Oxnard. But watch as the waves, they get trapped in there and they just go crazy. And that's because that area, at least in the South Bay, west of Hawthorne, Redondo Beach, Torrance, Manhattan, Hermosa, it was all marshland. My grandpa could have been a land baron, but he couldn't bring himself to buy it because he always told me, He's like, it might not happen in my lifetime, and it didn't, but he said it's going to happen, and I couldn't live with myself knowing that I knew better. So again, if you're in those areas, just be prepared. It's all you can do is be prepared. And now here we are at the USGS. This is one day, so 24 hours of magnitude 2.5 earthquakes or stronger. And as you can see, there was just one here in Taiwan. That just happened. If it's in red, it means it's it just happened. And it's just a reminder to be prepared because, as you can see, this is 24 hours, 39 earthquakes. And you don't know when they're coming, how strong they're going to be. All you can do is be prepared. And then I want to end here at Fukushima Contaminated Lives. And I had this article included in my nuclear video our nuclear disaster here in the U.S., and it's a really great article, and I would definitely recommend reading it. Sorry, I'm getting a little nasally because I'm having allergy attacks now, so I apologize, um, but I wanted to end here because, again, it's about being prepared. This is about Mrs. Yuko, who is 73, and on March 11th, the tsunami swept away her home, which was located a kilometer from the coast. She and her son were saved by a miracle. The previous night, they had felt a slight warning tremor and got the car ready for a quick getaway in the event of something bigger, which, of course, came the next day. Their dog went crazy minutes before it happened, and, taking heed, they fled to a nearby hill and watched as the sea descended on their home. So while it was devastating for them, they did survive, and it's because they were prepared. And so, again, I want to remind you, all of you, not just those of you in Southern California, but you have the New Madrid Zone, I'm going to do a video on that because that's a scary one too. You just have to be prepared. You need to know how to turn off the gas. You need to be prepared to not be able to go to the store because they might all be closed. You need to be prepared to not have electricity. You need to be prepared to not have cell phones. 
You need to know how to contact your kids or your loved ones. You need to go old school, have a meeting place, have places where you work, where you know where you could go close, where this is where I'll be. So again, it's not about being scared. It's about being prepared. So I hope this makes you go, hmm, let's get prepared.